What's up, Capricorn? All right, so I want to go ahead and jump straight into you guys reading. Um, it was super exciting because it was like uh, something starting off really slow, but then boom, like a rocket ship. It just goes off, okay? So the whole um, feeling of acceleration, but it's after a slow process, okay? Kind of like when a train first starts. It starts really slow. And then after a while, it has to speed up, right? And I got that before with another sign like a while ago. Um, but this energy is coming back again. It's kind of like, okay, the train parked, it's docked in the station. Now it's ready to go back out again. Maybe that's for you. Some of you guys feel like you had this strong wind, this strong power, and then suddenly you got drained. But it's kind of like the train is starting again. And although it's slow, it has no choice but to speed up eventually, right? So a slow process, but a real fast takeoff. Now, when you think about a train taking off, doesn't it draw attention? It draws so much attention that people got to stop their cars. They got to wait signals going off, which means it's a very public takeoff, right? All the people see it. All the people in that town or who are trying to cross that road, when that train come through, they are forced to halt. They got to take a step back. So those are haters in your life that when you take off, whoop, they got to take a step back. These are people who doubted you, who don't get to go on that ride. Whoop, you got to take a step back. And it doesn't matter that, you know, um, they're not a part of it. They're still affected by it. That's the part. So we're going to be looking into that energy. Who's affected by your sudden takeoff? Who's affected um, or maybe just what information needs to come up for you in general? A slow process. Now, for some of you guys, this is um, a relationship. Something took a really long time. You got a friend. We all been friends for a while. And you may have been wondering, okay, do this person like me or what? We've been kicking. We've been talking. This person confided in me. I confided in them. Like, we cool, right? But what's up? Slow. And then boom. Now we married four kids. You know, real fast takeoff, okay? So we're going to look into it. We're going to see what's coming up. I'm going to see, um, wow, those two cards want to come out. I'm going to pull three of those Oracle cards, and then we're going to get to our spread. So first up, slow process, fast takeoff. What we got? Death. Slow process, pal. That's one energy, only for something new to begin, something happening really fast. So this may be, okay, let me just go ahead and let's just put it out there and let's just start dating. So something, the slow part, pal, new beginning. So that's what this is talking about. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. So there's the end of a slow process for a fast takeoff. There's the end of a friendship for a relationship to begin. There's the end of a boyfriend and girlfriend situation for the engagement to begin, for the marriage to begin. Okay. Um, there is something, I don't know. I just heard something about something needs to be signed. So once name is on a dollar line, that moves us into a new beginning. All right. So this process involves even to letting some things go. Some things have to be dropped off. Some people have to be dropped off because when this train takes off again, not everybody going to be able to go for that ride. Let's see what else. Denial. First thing I just got is denial of greatness. Oh, wow. That makes me want to put my head down and shake my head. Like, why are we doing that? That's, that's for you. Okay. Something about a denial of your own greatness or a denial of what you can do. Maybe you don't deny it. You just feel like, like, I don't know, like if you have a vision so big, it's like, it's greater than yourself. It's like, come on, man, how am I supposed to do that? Um, but it's, that, that it's open for you. Okay. Now you might also have, um, with this fast takeoff, some people who are in denial about either what they did why they can't come along or you're in denial about certain people who shouldn't be there or who should i don't know take it how it applies but it says i acknowledge my fear but replace it with the insight of awareness so i feel like that's the key word here awareness don't play now is not the time to play dumb now is not the time to downplay yourself don't downplay your talent your gift your skills now is not the time to act <laughs> Oh, like you could be humble and, and all that stuff, but please, by all means, if you got it, you got it. If that's your talent, that's your talent. You know what I'm saying? If you bad, you bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, please don't put that away right now. We don't need that. We need you to shine, honey. Okay. What else we get? I said, we need you to shine, honey. Come on. 
this, this, this says fear, just in case. That says fear. Okay, it says, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. I think maybe some of you guys are afraid of your own. Like, you, like if you beast it up, you will really be that thing, that greater than yourself vision, right? But with that comes a lot, you know? What they say, to who much is given, much is required, something like that. It's like, yeah. It's I just feel like you're about to be bestowed upon with a huge responsibility. I just heard carry on your back. So maybe you're about to carry the torch. Maybe you carrying uh something on your back. Because remember, I was getting something about a like community in town. Everybody's affected by your sudden takeoff. So everyone's affected some kind of way. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Like you have to figure that out. But we have death, denial, and fear. So this can be an energy coming towards you. Or again, this can be maybe the energy space you're in right now because you're in that slow process. Like, oh, this is death. This is too slow. It ain't never going to happen. I'm scared. I ain't never going. It ain't never going, never, never. And then. Whew. Ooh. Okay, let's go. Let's get to the spread. We're going to break this down. Now, I do want to keep in mind that we're going to be doing um, a love spread over on the Patreon. So go over to the Patreon and check that out. I'm doing the On the Rocks reading first, where it's kind of like, you don't know if y'all and this person going to get back together. Y'all trying to see where it's going. Um, but then there's like the single, single reading. Okay, so that could be like you single. You don't know what's happening. You don't know what's coming. But we look into those energies to see what you got. So let's go ahead. Let's get to this. Slow process for a fast takeoff. Oh, look at that. The sun card wants to jump over. I'm going to keep shuffling now. Happiness. Abundance. Fruition. These are all the words coming to me. Okay. Center of the reading. The seven of discs, which is the seven of pentacles in traditional tarot. Waiting to see what comes. I'm getting pins and needles. Again, the process. You have to kind of wait to see. Like, maybe some of y'all waiting to see what something is going to look like. For example, if you took some pictures and you didn't see them, and then you get them, it's like, okay, cool. If you apply for something, you have to wait to see if you get it, and you get it. It's like, okay, cool. But this is also, okay, let's talk about that. I'm getting something about raggedy. I don't know why that word won't go away, but some something raggedy. Okay? I take it how to apply. Okay. Maybe you just said that word or somebody said something to you, something about some raggedy. That's just a confirmation for something. Um, but I like this depiction, but it's kind of like somebody plants the seed on their side, but the seeds don't grow. The fruition doesn't grow on their side. It goes over the fence and it grows on your side. Okay. To me, that's karma in a sense. Uh... Maybe someone told you to go do something or some. I'm getting, I just heard fake encouragement. Somebody may have gave, given you some fake encouragement or some fake hope. Like they decided, oh, I'm going to deposit, I'm going to put these seeds in you. Yeah, go do it, girl, go. On. But the whole time they may have been thinking you're going to make a fool of yourself. That's not really going to work. You can't really do it. Um, and then bada bing, bada boom, it actually works. And instead of them being able to sit there and celebrate with you, you get in tune to the fact that maybe you was just with that fake support anyway. And now you have to watch. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What else is going on? What is crossed by? Some of y'all could be dealing with a Virgo. Virgo got this exact same card in the exact same position. Except this time, it's not uh, how theirs was. This person is just watching. This person is looking to see what they lost. And there's some type of imprisonment because of it. You know, it's funny. Let me, let me read to you. Um... One of the things that I got for you, it says you have them stuck in a mental imprisonment. And look at that person behind bars in a sense. So someone feels like either you're, you got away with something or they have to now watch. Now imagine this is the person you riding off in the train, taking off. And this is the person stuck at the gate. They can't cross over because you're in the way. <laughs> it's like, I have to sit and I have to wait. Capricorn coming through all hell everybody stop like me i say world stop okay so whatever it is about to happen maybe their world has to stop or something has to stop in order for you to pass through okay this could be the person in denial this could be the person who has to you know be ended things have to end with this can also be the fear that someone feels like man i planted something i did something and you got it on your side oh you're gonna live someone else's dream 
yeah, some of y'all going to have to be careful because you're going to live someone else's dream. Or maybe there's a group of people around you. Like, for example, um, I don't know. Um, let's say it's a group of chefs and all of y'all want to open a restaurant. But some way, somehow, you know, they don't do it. You do it. You open a restaurant. And it's, I don't know, it's grand. It's wonderful. It's like, but wait a minute. That's mine. Okay. Uh, someone is with you all while you broke. And then as soon as you become successful, you ended and did with somebody else. Now I have to watch. I don't know. Something like that. Take how it applies. Let's see what's going on in the um, deep root of things. The Queen of Wands, again, connected to a verb. Y'all gotta be, it's some some Earth energy. It's, or maybe this is just how all the Earth energy is at this time. Because even though she's the Queen of Wands, passionate about that action, she makes things happen. Okay, she's a producer. She's a mover. She shakes. She get things going. You see that knife right there? And you see that fist? Like, okay, step, get too close if you want to. Maybe this is a response of, like, fear or something. Maybe this is a fear response because it says, I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love, right? So maybe that's a, I don't know, not a, not a fear response. You have every right to have your boundaries, but maybe that's what this person doesn't like, that you've set a firm boundary and that boundary has them in that imprisonment. Maybe somebody has something, I'm saying something even too, like, like a house, you're not giving somebody your, your new address or something. Although y'all may have kids together. Now look what just fell out at the bottom of the deck too. The emperor. This is being crowned. I feel like you guys are about to be crowned by the heavens for whatever this accomplishment is or whatever it takes off for you. I also just got point of no return. Self-mastery at its finest. And for some of you guys, that's a mate. That's a new person. Remember I was saying something about a new person and that person has to watch? Look at that. Not only are you the queen or the king, the emperor is that next step above. So whoever it was you left in the past, this is for whoever's scared to leave something, or this is for people who's scared to leave a certain path behind. It's like something greater. Something greater is on the other side of that fence. Whoever this is in a mental imprisonment, they're going to have to get their self out. They got to bail themselves out of that one because you got something greater. Okay? Let's see what's happening in the recent, or what happened in the recent past. What happened in the recent past? Ooh, too many cards, too many cards. That justice card wanted to jump over. That karma balancing out. Now that just jumped over on its own. That's the six of swords. Move on from something. Now I like this too because it's um it's the casting of like the coconuts. And it's like whatever question you had, the answer was yes. Okay. So when you cast the coconuts, yes was the answer for this one. So if you had a question about something, you've been thinking about something for a while, should I leave something? Should I do something? Yes, okay? And this uh, is followed right under the death card. So whatever ended, Six of Swords, is what you're moving on to Karma Waters from, okay? That's why we're moving on. That's why we get a new beginning. You had to release something, let something go, so a new beginning could form. I'm seeing somebody run. Back in the day, I used to do track. Um, they used to have these, like, resistance things, and somebody would pull while we try to run, and the person's pulling back, okay? But as soon as they let that thing go, guess what? Pew! You take off, okay? That's good training. So when the race comes, your body know how to move that fast, right? But that was the training. We needed that training in order to perform at that height. Right. So for some of y'all, you needed this resistance. You needed this pull back because it helped you to push, push, push forward. And now when you get to a time, you don't have to push that hard. You still pushing that hard just because that's how you was trained. That's how the universe trained you. And that's why all this overflow show up. OK, let's see what's going on in the headspace. We got two different things going on. I feel like there's a denial of greatness. So I want to tap into that first. And then there's someone, this person, whoever this is, Ten of Wands. We got to see what they got going on in their mental space, okay? So what's going on with you, denial, mental space? Wow. Now that came out in reverse, six of wands. Now, upright, that's usually about being out there, Um, you know, that popular thing, that that uh celebratory thing, people looking at you, giving you a round of applause, accomplishments, you did something good, okay? But again, didn't I say something about that denial of greatness? Look at that. Upright, you're supposed to have your chest out, you're supposed to have your chin up, you're supposed to be walking tall, you're supposed to be able to, you know, uh, absorb 
the impact of being celebrated, if I can say it like that. Why do I say it like that? Because there's this fear, there's the denial. Some of y'all feel like you don't deserve to be celebrated or don't deserve to be clapped for. Or maybe what you're doing is not so great and so grand anyway, so who cares? Um, maybe, maybe, I don't think it's a self-worth issue. I just think you don't understand your greatness. Again, I keep getting that denial of greatness. Come on. It's like, don't deny it, baby, walk in it. You know, even if someone around you don't see it yet, that's the, the slow process. Well, I got to walk it. I got to talk it. I got to live it. I got to be it. Then the manifestation shows up. That's that slow process. Then boom, that take off, right? So I'm getting something too about shame. Shame. Someone feels ashamed. So that could be you or it could be somebody else. But if you knew you were doing the right thing, how would you move? If you knew God was proud of you or smiling at you despite your failures and everything that you didn't get right the first time, but despite all your mistakes, you were still being smiled at, you were still uh, proud of, God's still proud of you, and you're doing the right thing, you're on the right track. How would you then move? Would you still sit there like, man, I can't do anything? Like, what? I'm good. Because God said, what? I should move. Excuse me. Excuse me. I got work to do, you know? So let's see what else. What's going on in this person's mental space? The night, the king of wands. Well, somebody wants to come back in and be your king. Now, so funny, because remember how that emperor jumped out? He came out of nowhere. So it's like, although this person is thinking, listen, um, let me let me be your king. Let me be your one. Um, something greater. But uh, you see this person, you see how he has, I don't, to me, it's coming across as like, you know, that gun at the start line when I was saying something about like running and the racetrack, all that kind of stuff. That's kind of like that gun, represents like the pal. Once that gun hit pal, you take off, okay? So maybe this person uh, feels like you could take off. I'm feeling like, too, this person knows your potential to take off. Maybe it's because of the seed planted. Maybe because someone feel like they invested in you. We got a lot of that energy going on, too, where people are going to try to take credit for your success or credit for what you've done. Um, this is, I feel like even the same person here, the one that's in prison. All right. But they're thinking they, they listen, I deserve to be right there where you are with you by your side. Okay. Why you may be feeling a little, I don't want to say down on yourself. You know who you are. Maybe you're just still in that waiting position, that slow process position. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we have in the near future for Capricorn. Oh, the hangman. Shh. Sat down. Be quiet. Um, this to me is saying, uh, whoever it is, no, no ma'am, no sir. This is uh, of course a voluntary pause of action. This is a establishment of boundaries, someone being on the outside. Um, you see this here? I'm getting something about your circle being real small and that's okay. Like for somebody out there who feel like you're supposed to have all these people around, it's like you did yourself a favor. I just, that was very clear. You did yourself a favor or you followed the instructions correctly. Who was supposed to go was gone. And that, ter that circle is real tight. You got about space by one more person, right? But you know, speaking like that, not to say, oh, you only can have one friend. I'm saying like that's, that circle is tight. Uh, whoever stands in that circle stand very close to you so whatever it is that you know whether that be i guess your mate or whatever who do you feel like needs to be that close to you okay there's a shadow of a person in the background that could be a spirit guide that could be your emperor getting ready to come in or the empress getting ready to come in for you the other person who's going to join you it looks like there's one specific space for somebody to fill that circle with you but I also just, I'm getting to that. Watch your circle. Watch your circle. Watch your circle. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's keep talking about it. Wait, I want to talk about it with one of these. Let's talk about it with this. Okay. So the hangman. Why is Capricorn going hangman style? I feel like this is just part of the process too. Like clean up. Why is the hangman here? Discernment. Ooh. Who belong in the circle? Or better yet, should I say, who belong on the train to take that ride? This is where, remember I was saying something, now ain't the time to be in denial. I ain't the time to try to act all cute. Oh, they was just, they just, 
you know, they just cussed me out because, you know, they didn't, they was having a bad day. No, they cussed you out because they was jealous and they wanted you to um, fall flat on your face. Um, may not have been jealousy. May not have been cussed out. Could have been something else. It could have just, just be because they're on the low vibrational end. Maybe someone's filled with fear. We got low vibrational energy around. Lots of low vibrational energy around. Ooh, take this how it applies to you. You see that. All right. I just keep getting like the cleanup. Like we, Cap, like you coming into something. You coming into something. But that train, it, it got like a weight capacity or something. Doo doo. Next stop. That's what it did. That's what it just heard. Doo doo. Next stop. And the doors are opening. Somebody gotta get off. Or maybe this person already got off. This is what we're talking about. But now it's like they appear at the next stop. Like, wait, turn the train, slow down, open the door so I can hop back home. Okay, let's let's see. What is that person's fear? And then let's just talk about a different type of fear. I want to talk about the fear that's related to this fear card that jumped out. So this person's fear, the star, well, you on your way. Didn't I say? Popular, um, standing out amongst the crowd, being totally unique and different. This is a lot of hope. This is a lot of faith. Bringing in something that you desired. Somebody knows it. Maybe somebody see you greater than you see yourself, which Capricorn for playing with me. Are you in denial? Are you a star -er? And you know it deep down inside? Because I keep feeling like everybody can see it but you. Or you see it but just... It's like I feel like somebody is on the edge or like trying to see what you're going to do. Somebody's very curious to see what you're going to do. See, this is how you see you're thinking yourself. This is Six of Wands in reverse. I'm like... This is how this person sees you. Like, oh, you're going to be the next thing to slice bread. And all I can do is sit back and watch. Let's see. Um, then I pick up another fear. I want to talk about the fear associated with um, this fear card. So we have, ooh, come on. That it's all, and it all falls down. Selena Johnson, Kanye West, right? It all falls down. Ooh. So maybe that's uh, the dream. Somebody... This thing never takes off. Uh, yeah, I'm getting something about too, like people crashing, people crashing the party or people crashing the train. I don't know. The train crashing? I don't know. I'm going too fast. It take off. I'm going too fast. What if I crash and burn? See, it's kind of like um, y'all picking up future energy of negative things that haven't happened or are not going to happen. Uh, it's like, oh, that's what I'm trying to, you're picking up future anxiety. How about that? How about the train ain't even took off yet. You already worried about it crashing or something like that. But hey, that's double sided. I like that though. Because if you're thinking about the train crashing, you know, it's going to take off. Ooh. So just stay in the know it's going to take off energy and now switch the outcome with and it's going to be good, and it's going to be fruitful, and it's going to be long-lasting, okay? Let's see how you're being viewed at this time. How are you being viewed? The Ace of Cups, like an ocean of emotion. Like uh, like the treasure at the bottom of the ocean, the true gem, the one that was really hard to find, the one that is really, truly rare. Someone may be looking at you and maybe like treasuring you or didn't know the depths of the gems that you had. Didn't know how deep your ocean flowed. They didn't know how deep you were, but they definitely want to start that over. Okay. Um, somebody is sitting in their garden, looking at the ruin. Okay. Seeing you as the star, but knowing that, that you using that discernment and you using that uh, hangman energy to kind of push back. But they see something brand new starting over for you because we already got the death card, the ending, but here comes the start. Emotionally fulfilled whole and ready i guess ready for this this emperor to come in let's see what do they hope for what is the hope <laughs> you see all them kids you see all them babies <laughs> yeah 
they want to go half on about 10 babies. No, that's 10 babies on there, for real. No, um, this is the Ten of Pentacles, representing generational wealth. I'm sitting back, everything that I've invested, time, energy, effort, I'm sitting back watching you. I'm hoping I'm having these thoughts about you or whatever. And I'm hoping that this seven actually turns into a 10, the full complete package. Uh, you got somebody who is just, maybe this is the person in denial that it's over. I don't know. Or maybe, you know, because if they're hoping like, man, I want to have babies, get you pregnant, all that kind of stuff. Now, is that in a, in alignment with what you got going on, where you're going? It, does it involve, you know, all these kids right now? Because the way I'm seeing it, it's like that's more so not the direction. Okay. But this can also just represent having that generational wealth with you. Having, building something with you, building an empire with you together. So that y'all can leave legacy for the children. Build generational wealth with you. But is that even an option? Because remember how I was getting for the notes. This person is in, in prison. Okay? In a sense. Maybe mentally, physically can't see you because you got something that's going on. Physically can't get to you because they don't know your address. Something like that. Let's see what the outcome is. Ooh. Four of Wands. <laughs> this is stability. This came out with who else? This came out with this came out with Virgo. Man, this is uh, stability. It's love. It's a strong, solid foundation. Kingsmanship, queensmanship. Um, for me, it's that solid foundation that you stand on that you can have forever. Um, you know how sometimes you just need that one thing to get your foot in the door, and then from there you straight for the rest of your life. That kind of energy. That's what this is. Um, but also it represents that marriage, that coming together. And I really feel like this is connected to the emperor. I keep getting that something better. Okay. So some of you guys are really about to uh, meet somebody really, really stable. And that's going to be the vibe you walk towards. That's going to be the person sitting in the conductor seat helping you to, you know, go fast on that train or whatever. So I'm going to pull one more card to wrap it all up. And then I want you guys to head on over to the Patreon for the special love reading where we're going to be talking about those who are on the rocks with somebody and then those who are just single, single. So wrapping this reading up, realization. Some of y'all coming to that realization. Maybe the realization coming out of denial of, oh, I'm not great. I'm not grand. I'm not wonderful. This is also the death card, the ending. You see how this person is in that nighttime energy, but they're standing on the edge right there right before they walk through the keyhole to that new life, to the daytime, okay? The ending of the night, but it's just the beginning of that new day, okay? So come out of denial of your greatness. Move forward, and uh, for a lot of you guys, make sure you using your discernment to discern who needs to be in that circle, okay? So that's what I get for you guys. Head on over to Patreon right now. The link is in the description box so you can go ahead and get the rest of this reading. All right. Other than that, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all and I'll see you in your next video.